Welcome back to another game design shorts where I show you how video games become a little bit more juicy. And today's topic is hit animation, the internal one on a player or on an enemy. So a lot of video games do one thing, which is super easy to do. They just hit the thing and then recolor it. And then quickly it snaps back to its original color. This is just blending or recoloring easy peasy stuff a lot of games and the older ones actually did one thing they where they make the whole image transparent and sometimes completely invisible all right but of course we we can top that so a lot of video games maybe do this they do an image swap so you got your idle image and then boom it uh well snaps to a second one which is just uh, just knocking the enemy a little bit back and then it snaps back to the original image. But of course we can actually do something else, which you by the way see also for jumping. We can actually squish the dude, yeah, so this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna squish it and then it snaps back to its original scaling. So this is easy to do also. And of course we can do the holy cow of all three combinations because this is what a lot of video games do they actually do all of them together combined we recolor or blend it do an image swap and we actually scale it so this is basically the result a little bit of tilting recoloring and then of course uh, squishing or deforming for a short brief time which is then uh, one quarter of a second or even shorter and this is how you can do hit animations on instances and before you leave there will be a second video this is then for my game maker dudes and do that where i actually show the code how to do that visually and with code so if you want to know that then check out the follow-up video on this one have a good one one up indie